there's a lot of confusion about how the economy really works. So here's a three minute lesson to clear things up. We find ourselves on an island with four people on it. On this island, they use rare shells as money to make purchases. Each person has their own occupation. There's a farmer, a builder, a clothes maker, and a fisherman. The same as any other economy, but simple so we can see how things work. When the builder wants a fish for dinner, he buys one with a shell. The fisherman may need a new shirt, so takes that same shell and buys a shirt. The clothes maker may want some tomatoes, so buys them from the farmer with the same shell. The farmer now needs a new room on her hut, so gives the shell to the builder in exchange for his work. Notice what happens here. The builder has the same shell he started with. The money situation has not changed, but also notice everyone got what they wanted. Everyone is richer or better off even though they don't have any more money. Things work this way on the island until one day thousands of shells wash up on the beach. The islanders are excited and gathered them by their huts. They all feel rich because they have lots of money. But when the builder tries to exchange a shell for some tomatoes, the farmer doesn't want the shell. Neither do the others because they all have enough. No one needs any more, so the shells become worthless. The only thing that remains valuable is the product or service each one has to trade. They will still be able to trade what they make or do, but the shells are worthless. Why? Because wealth is not found in money. Money is just a point system to keep track of who owes who value. Wealth is created when we create valuable products or services to trade. Wealth is created by creating value. We can have all the money we want, but if no one is making valuable products or services to buy, our money is worthless. Whether you live on an island or a country of millions, this principle never changes. Wealth is always created by creating value. The wealth of an individual, community, or country depends on the value it can create. To learn six more principles that will help you create your own value, visit GrowYourOwnEconomy.com or get the book, Grow Your Own Economy, Seven Simple Principles to Create Extraordinary Value.